Hello, this is a revision video for the poem Mother Any Distance by Simon Armitage for the AQA GCSE. As ever with any of the videos, they're not intended to be an exhaustive analysis. They're simply to be useful revision to supplement the notes that you've done in class and shouldn't be a, an alternative for your own interpretations, which are always more convincing to an examiner if you understand and, you've, and you can articulate your own ideas. I'm going to read the poem and go through a few short revision points for you. Mother any distance greater than a single span requires a second pair of hands. You come to help me measure windows, pelmets, doors, the acres of the walls, the prairies of the floors. You at the zero end, me with the spool of tape, recording length, reporting metres, centimetres back to base, then leaving up the stairs, the line still feeding out, and reeling years between us. Anchor. Kite. I spacewalk through the empty bedrooms, climb the ladder to the loft, to breaking point, where something has to give. Two floors below, your fingertips still pinch the last one hundredth of an inch. I reach towards a hatch that opens on an endless sky to fall or fly. So essentially we've got the speaker describing their mother, helping them measure a new place to live. But as well as this, the speaker is reflecting on their relationship with their mother and the connection that still lasts between them. There's a semantic field, so a collection of the same words used throughout the poem. And this is a semantic field of measurement uh, from one hundredth of an inch to centimetres, metres and acres and prairies as well. Prairies not being a, a measurement of length, but in, an, an increasing size. Simon Armitage was born in Yorkshire in 1963. He is the Professor of Poetry at Oxford and he also lectures in creative writing at Sheffield University. He has also made radio programmes for Radio 3 and 4, as well as writing plays and novels. This poem in particular was published in an anthology called Books of Matches, where the poems are short enough to be read in the time it takes a match to burn down. So Mother is a quite a formal address um, and simultaneously it shows who he's writing this poem to so that the reader is straight away in no confusion uh, to that end. So this is a poem about a, a mother and child relationship. Um, any distance greater than a single span requires a second pair of hands. So you've got quite smooth and soft sibilants. Um, in addition, the, the pair of hands is synecdoche, suggesting a safe, supportive presence. So synecdoche is where you take one part of something, in this case the hands, to represent the whole, in this case the mother. So the mother in this case is a safe, supportive presence. And I think you can tell that from the smooth and soft sibilance and the fact that she is there to help him as well, as you understand in the next line. And the personal pronoun in the direct address shows there is a connection between the mother and the child. You come to help me measure windows, palmets, doors, the acres of the walls, the prairies of the floors. So th these metaphors in the last line of this stanza showing the increasing space and the vastness of this new home and this, and this new opportunity for the child. With you at the zero end, it's quite clear that the mother is the one that's left behind and the child is the one who is extending their relationship, pushing the boundaries, moving away from the mother. Um, we're recording length, reporting metres, centimetres back to base, uh, where, where base can connote a place of safety, but also a place of control. Then leaving up the stairs, the line still feeding out and reeling years between us. So the, the enjambment causes a caesura, a slight pause, and this echoes the implied separation that will reflect in their relationship, the fact that he's moving out. I find those two metaphors at the end of this stanza particularly interesting, the idea of an anchor and the idea of kite. And they're worthy of some more thought uh, in terms of your own interpretations. So an anchor principally could be stabilising or it could be restrictive and a kite could be freeing, but also there's still that, that grounding sense of having the string being controlled by somebody on the ground. They're simple sentences, uh, minor sentences rather, and I think they emphasise the importance of these metaphors to the poem. The mother as an anchor and the child as a kite. And finally, the, in the last stanza, you've got the idea of spacewalk. 
walking. So even in a space walk, the person who is um, doing the space walk is still attached by a cord to the ship or to some other um, place of safety. But you could also talk about the connotations of a spacewalk being weightless, a sense of freedom, um, or you could talk about the idea of um, a mothership and a base, and you can link it back to that previous stanza. You've got the empty bedrooms, which I think could indicate the potential for the child's own family and that sort of cyclical nature of, of life, death and, and family. And I think that's quite interesting too. Climb the ladder to the loft. Again, another enjambment, testing the boundaries of their relationship, testing the boundaries of the lines. It's a breaking point where something has to give. Two floors below, your fingertips still, still pinch the last one hundredth of an inch. So the mother seems reluctant to let go um, of the child. I reach towards a hatch that opens on an endless sky to fall or fly. And I think... The repeated ch sounds at the end of the words are airy and light. It's almost as if you're running out of air when you're saying these words, pinch, inch. And I think the repetition of those is, is creates a really lovely sound effect when you read the poem. You've got the idea of hatch being quite interesting because this could be a continuation of the space metaphor, uh, exiting a hatch in order to do the spacewalk. Uh, but it also links to the bird imagery of falling and, or flying and new beginnings as well of an egg hatching. So I think it's a really lovely poem about a family relationship and the connection between a mother and her child. The form and structure reflect this interestingly too. So you've got the idea of, of it being a sonnet but with an additional line which could symbolise the breaking away of the child. So a sonnet would ordinarily be a love poem containing 14 lines and this one you've got those extra four words to fall or fly um, creating a 15th line. It's got a loose rhyme scheme which reduces throughout the poem and perhaps this could reflect uncertainty for the future in their relationship as it begins this new phase. Thank you.